Team again, welcome back from the weekend. It's Mr. Lone. Hope everyone is doing well, and I'm excited to kick off another week of read alouds with you. Well, given the little bit of snow that we had over the weekend, I figured let's get a title that connects with what happened with the weather. I know we didn't get a lot, but I know from the way my three daughters were acting, uh, and they took advantage of at least what we did receive from Mother Nature. We were doing a little sledding in the backyard. They were having a little fun building a snowman, and so let's do. The Biggest Snowman Ever, written by Stephen Kroll. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. <clears throat> Once there were two mice who fell in love with the same snowman, and this is how it happened. On a bright winter day, the mayor of Mouseville announced the town's snowman contest. Whoever makes the biggest snowman will win a prize, he declared. All the mice were excited. The judging of the contest will take place in two weeks, said the mayor. Good luck to all of you. I'm going to make a really big snow princess, said Penelope. I'm going to make a really big snow Martian, said James. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever, said, Clinton, said Clayton, the house mouse. His friend Desmond, the field mouse, frowned. No, you're not. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever. Oh, yeah, said Clayton. Oh, yeah, said Desmond. That night, it snowed and snowed. Huge drifts covered driveways, roads, and fields. It was the perfect beginning for a snowman contest. In town, Penelope began, began her snow princess, and James began his snow Martian. Out in the country, Clayton and Desmond began their snowmen. Clayton made a snowball and rolled it along the ground. The more he rolled it, the bigger it got. Before long, he had a large base for his snowman. Not far away, Desmond was doing the same thing. The next day, Clayton made a huge snowball for his snowman's belly. Not far away, Desmond did the same thing. That night, Clayton brought his dad out to see his snowman. Dad scratched his head. I don't know, son. It's going to be big. But I'm not sure it will be the biggest. Clayton smiled up at him. I'm just getting started. Dad whispered in his ear, If you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. A little later, Desmond brought out his Uncle Vernon. I don't know, said Vernon. It's going to be big. But will it be the biggest? Desmond smiled. I'm just getting started, he said. Vernon whispered in his ear, if you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. The next day, Clinton filled his wheelbarrow with snow. He piled the snow onto the snowman. Then he rolled another snowball for the snowman's head. Not far away, Desmond did the same thing. A few days later, Desmond ran into town to look at James's snow Martian and Penelope's snow princess. Hmm, he said, all of our snow people are the same size. That afternoon, Clayton made the same discovery. The next day, while working on his snowman, Clayton had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Desmond. At the same moment, Desmond had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Clayton. They bumped into each other and fell down. I have an idea, said Clayton. I have an idea, said Desmond. We should do this together, said Clayton. No one said we couldn't, said Desmond. First, they rolled each part of Desmond's snowman over to the middle of the field. Then they rolled each part of Clayton's snowman over. They piled the snowballs on top of one another. Clayton dropped a floppy hat on the snowman's head. Desmond added a long scarf, huge coal eyes, and a giant carrot nose. When they were done, they had built the biggest snowman ever. The morning of the contest, field mice on snowmobiles brought the judges to the country. You both win the prize, said the mayor, handing Clayton and Desmond a large wedge of Swiss cheese. Let the celebration begin. Everyone gathered to dance around the snowman, drink hot chocolate, and eat donuts. We did it, said Clayton and Desmond, jumping up and down. We did it together. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that first read aloud of the week. You guys have a terrific night, again, and we'll see you soon. I love, by the way, the story of teamwork there. 
All right, McGinn. See you soon.